Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to three short horrors. One of these was recommended on my Discord, and I believe the other two were recommended on my Discord, but it's so far back now that I can't find who submitted them. But if you submitted one of these videos, then thank you very much. It was brought to my attention, and I think it was just in the recommended of this first video that I clicked from Discord. If you're not a member of my Discord, consider joining. If you submit me something scary in the Scare Baz submission channel and I react to it, I will give you a shout out. So these three videos are a little bit different to each other. The first one is an animation. The second one is a kind of EAS analog horror. And the third is a video from the Sonic tapes, which we haven't reacted to in a while. So look forward to that. Without further ado, guys, we're going to jump straight into this. This first video was submitted on my Discord by Cleo. The Twins. Cal Arts 2022 film. Michelle Tang. I love stuff like this, by the way, and I'd, I'd love to react to more of this because the art style and the animation style is so unique and so like colorful. I'd love to react to more stuff like this. And if you want to see more kind of things like this, then recommend them to me on my Discord and I will definitely check them out. You can see a few here in the comment section, comment section, the recommended. Some of them look, Jesus, what is this? Yeah, we're just going to jump straight into this. It's called The Twins. This is uh, my third year student film. My God, some people are just so talented, aren't they? Blair. Here. Air. Caden. Here. Lake. Sorry, Mrs. J. Lake's a little late today. Again. <laughs> Good one. Thank you, Lucas. Thank, thank you, Lucas. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa, what are you doing that for? What? He did it on purpose. Mrs. J. Oh my god, I hated kids like this in school. Like anything you did would them Miss Shut up, okay? Oops. Mrs. J. Oh my god, this kid knows what he's doing as well. <laughs> Mrs. J. Mrs. J. Mrs. J. Mrs. J. Stupid right. attention. Stupid Lucas. Yeah, Stupid Lucas. Mrs. Screw J. Lucas. When did you give it back? Oh my god, is he like a bully? Okay, come and get it. Hey. How can you look like that and be a bully? This guy looks like the... Why well, he doesn't look like a nerd, but he looks like, like a prep boy, kind of. We shouldn't be here. What? Scared? Wait, so who is... Is he a brother or something? What's going on? <gasps> this is so well done. Oh, my God. This isn't really safe. Even the soundtrack. <laughs> the visuals, the soundtrack. Oh, it's got a little I'm mouse. Scared of a bird. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! My goodness. Lucas. What's this guy's name? Blake. Who's there? Oh, this this reminds me of the uh, the animation of like the Iron Giant. Yeah, don't do that. You thought it'd be that easy? How embarrassing. Oh my god, I hate it's this kid. It's because of you. Listen, if this kid doesn't have any it doesn't have any haters, then I'm not alive, okay? Really? It's my fault you can't make it to class on time. It's my fault all my friends like me more than you. It's my fault I'm just the better twin. You're not you're not better. You just get me in trouble to make yourself look good. What? So why has got one got bad eye eyesight and the other one hasn't? It's eh? no. Everyone says, oh, Lake, why can't you be more like your brother? Yeah, well, they wouldn't say that. They knew who you really Shut up. You wish you were me. Beat him up. Oh, oh good no. Lord. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. My ankle. 
screw your uncle, like kid. Oh my. Oh dear. Blair. Here. Caden. Here. Lake. Sorry, Mrs. J. Oh, his name was Lake. I think Lake's late again. You know how he is. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Lucas. Melanie? Here. Holy shit, he's pretending to be his brother. Olive. But what, what are they going to say about Lucas? Wait, Lake? What they, well, okay, so that was Luke there, and he was talking about Lake. Oh my god, it was... Lake T, age 10. Missing child. Oh my goodness. That's dark as hell. What, where, are this, where are these parents? What are they doing? Rather than say, oh my god, we, we were out and something went terribly wrong... I mean, he's dead anyway, right? I mean, if you're going to do that whole thing and be cold like that, just say, I don't know what happened. He was like, we crossed the road and he got ran over. I mean, obviously that would be like psychotic. Don't actually do that. But it's better than like, that's crazy. Like burying your brother and then pretending to be him. That is insane. I love stuff like this though. I love stuff like this. We need to react to more stuff like this for sure. Was that done by one person as well? Okay, so no, there was, there was uh, obviously people involved in the... Uh, sound design and stuff and there's animation help here as well but still that was super impressive my goodness let me subscribe and like be sure to like and subscribe to all the creators you see today and the videos that i present they will be in the description down below in the order that i watch them with the video accompanying them so watch alongside me and uh yeah let's try and get these i mean this has got 10 million views almost but still you know, they deserve a lot more for sure because that was a fantastic animation. Let's move on to the next video. Analog Horror Prehistoric Emergence by Azen Studios. Mr. Raven was uh, actually recommended the second video of this, so I'll, I'll give them a shout out because I'm watching the first one. Prehistoric emergency, emergency alert system. This is an, okay. There's a. This is probably just saying what we're going to be watching in the video, but uh, there's some kind of prehistoric sea monsters uh, re-emerging. So let's have a look and see what kind of prehistoric. I mean, that's a horrifying thought to be fair, because what was around when all of the continents were merged with, as one. You gotta think of all the water surrounding it and what probably evolved in there. Here we go. Do not enter the ocean. I wasn't gonna, I'm not, in, wasn't planning on it, to be fair. I don't think I ever would. All coastal regions and beaches across the nation are to be immediately evacuated and closed until further notice. Mm -hmm. All water related activities including boating, fishing, and swimming, are strictly prohibited. Unprecedented marine activity has been detected, with reports of previously extinct oceanic species reappearing and exhibiting Just reappearing. behavior. Do not approach the water under any circumstances and listen carefully to the following information. Numerous, thought to be extinct species, have re-emerged in outer oceans. Mm-hmm. The reason for the re-emergence of these previously extinct marine species is currently unknown. Just somehow happened. Although it is theorized that the formation of a massive blue hole in the ocean has blue hole. ancient creatures. It could be like a portal from like another another world almost. That'd be an interesting concept. Because you think about portals opening up on Earth, right, or whatever, and you like multiverse. What about under the ocean and it's linked to another planet almost or another or, or just a multiverse of like back in the past and they can they're just they can just swim through. That would be crazy. Waters. This blue hole is believed to lead to a given region where these extinct animals have continued to exist. They just chill down there, man. The they're just staying out of the way. Are considered extremely dangerous and are to be avoided at all costs. Okay. The Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus. The and the Megalodon. 
Of course, the Megalodon. Sorry, the Megalodon's humongous, is it not? How is it fitting in that hole? That's what she said. This nightmarish marine predator is considered to be a colossal, monstrous lizard. Oh, wow, okay. It is equipped with a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth, capable of tearing through flesh and bone with ease. It nice, like butter. The Mosasaurus will eat anything. Anything? Including human. My god, it's big-backed. This behavior poses a serious threat to ocean. Just eats anything. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet out there. Ecosystems and endangers countless species. Mosasaurus can grow up to over 50 feet in length. Wow. Its That's massive pretty. size makes it easily identifiable in the water. Mm-hmm. The average human can swim at a speed of around 2 to 3 miles per hour. The yeah. Mosasaurus can swim at a speed of 30, 30, 30 miles, miles per, per hour. hour. Oh, how no. Give me one of those freaking things with the jet on it, and I'll just just hot the sea gliders or whatever they're called. Mosasaurs have been spotted in a wide range of oceanic climates, ranging from tropical oceans to polar oceans. Okay, well, it has been I'm good. Reported that there is an especially high population of mosasaurs in the Atlantic Ocean. Damn. Furthermore, there have been several instances of mosasaurs. The UK is boring. I don't think we have like sharks and stuff like that. Maybe we do, like way offshore, but um, not as common as like American shores or South American shores. Driving small boats and consuming the passengers. Beware that mosasaurs will stick their head above the water to scan their surroundings. Oh. Leave the vicinity immediately. So like the Loch Ness, the Loch Ness monster, Dunkleos. Tears. This ancient creature was the world's first apex predator. Really? Look at those goofy ass teeth. It's but got like it's got buck teeth, but they're 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 freaking incisors. Tears's armored head makes it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Damn. Its thick bony plating cannot be penetrated by standard bullets. Okay. Only harpoons and high velocity bullets can breach its defenses. The Dinkleosteus is about 13 feet in length. Despite its size, it has an incredibly high bite force. For reference, the crocodile has a bite force of 3,700 psi. Yeah, okay. The Dinkleosteus has a bite force greater than 6,000 psi. That's insane. Its size and maneuverability allow it to attack swiftly and without warning. Is it just? I thought it was gonna... currently being investigated for additional. Are these all like 3D renders? That's insane. Furthermore, it has been discovered that the Dinkleosteus. I'll tell you what their weakness is, guys. Don't go in the water. Its weakness is literally air. Okay, just stay on the beach, sunbathe, have a great time. You don't need to go out to the ocean. You don't need to go out to these deep. If you're going out to the ocean, you you don't deserve it, but you're asking for it. Okay. You're in their territory. You don't see sharks just walking onto land, do you? Because they know their place. We should know ours. What were they thinking? To survive an encounter with this predator, it is recommended that you employ avoidance. Yeah, no shit. Uh, just don't go in the water, basically. Here's the megalodon. Megalodon. This prehistoric behemoth has Ugh. once again reclaimed its title as the ultimate predator. The ultimate predator. In insatiable hunger. So why did it go extinct? Because like surely predators, they're at top of the food chain, right? So they survive by eating. Were they just not mating? Leading to catastrophic declines in marine populations. Shit. Megalodon eat up to 2,500 pounds of food a day. Fucking hell, that's just queso starters. Okay, stop it. Stop. Drop in ocean wildlife and will Sorry, I didn't mean that. Will certainly destabilize many ecosystems. This oceanic titan can grow over 60 feet long, making it the Whoa. largest predator in outer oceans. How big are the blue whales? Is so massive it can fit to adult humans with ease. Damn it man. Can grow literally, humans are literally just a little, just an appetizer to these guys. Little olives. That's all this up is. Seven inches long. If megalodons are not dealt with, they will devastate our ocean. All right, and what what do you mean dealt with? Are you gonna go deal with them, buddy? You go go send you in. See what you can do. 
confidently putting our food security and economy at risk. Trust that authority. There's plenty of land animals that we can eat, okay? These are urgently handling the situation. Oh my goodness. Okay, I enjoyed that. That was cool. We'll definitely have to give the second part by cooperating with these instructions and being willing to assist. So this this whole video could have been it could have ended within the first 30 seconds. Literally like, listen, there's freaking prehistoric ancient monsters coming out in the ocean again. Just stay away, maybe. If you've if you're planning on surfing or whatever, just don't do it. Don't do it. Just leave it. And then we'll tell you when you can go back in. But me personally, I just won't go into the ocean. Why? Why would I want to go there? Management of these sea monsters. For now, the ocean is Ooh. no longer in our control. What do you mean? It wasn't in our control to begin with. Come on, so the, that belongs to them, okay? Why is it with us humans being so egotistical that we need to control everything? Just know, there's things greater than us, things bigger than us. They're doing their own thing. They're sorting their own, like, better than any politician ever would. They've got their own system in place. Let's not interfere with that, shall we? That was really good, Azen Studios. I really enjoyed that. I'll definitely check out the second episode in another video. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. That was awesome. Let me subscribe. Let me like that video. Be sure to do the same thing, guys. We're going to move on to the last video. Chaos, the Sonic Tapes by Evanimous. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm guessing that's how you pronounced it. Evanimous or Evanimous? Because that's Evan right there. I think I said this last time. I was confused. That's Evan. Evanimous. Evanimous. But this, I believe, is the latest video in the Sonic Tape series. We did watch this previously. Um, I'll put up a link here to, to the last video we watched of the Sonic Tapes. But, you know, go check out the originals for yourself. Go check out the playlist. Um, I'll be putting the video down below, so go check that out for yourself. So if I remember, if I remember correctly, Sonic is like Shin Godzilla, basically. He's just growing and growing in size. And he's using Tails, I believe, as like his hunting partner. And I believe Knuckles is a... He's the only one that can save them, basically. So Sonic is after these Chaos Emeralds, right? Or, or whatever they're called. And if he gets all of them, it's game over. It's basically like if Thanos got all the Infinity, sto uh, Infinity Stones, he just... And it's over. But I'm guessing, the, yeah, these Emeralds make Sonic more powerful. And so I believe Knuckles is going to be trying to stop this. But from the looks of what's happening, it's not looking good. Here we go. Palm, palm tree panic. So that's Knuckles, I think. Past. Obviously, playing the games probably helps with the references. I haven't played a Sonic game in years. Last game I played of Sonic was Sonic Adventures on the Dreamcast, I think. GUN report 1262-3. Sonic has become too large and powerful to keep hidden from the public. The replicants of what appear to be tails have become incredibly widespread as well. This is no longer this no longer concerns only the United States. Sonic is evolving at a rapid rate, and if something isn't done soon, the entire planet will be in danger. Sonic has exhibited incredible speeds even at its immense size. Oh wow. It doesn't look that fast. Okay, never mind. A thing of that size moving that quick should be illegal. Sonic cleared the several hundred mile distance between Hilltop County and Station Square in mere seconds. Just pack it up. Pack it up and leave. What could we possibly have that stops something like this? I mean, there's probably some kind of military grade weapon out there that hasn't been disclosed to the public. Because you think about it, the technology we get now, the, the, the army definitely had it like 10, 20 years ago. Maybe 10, let's say 10, 15 years ago. So what we're getting now, AI and stuff like that, you got to think they are 20, 10 to 15 to 20 years ahead of us in those regards. Maybe they have something. Who knows? Due to its size, the speed it traveled at created a shockwave that devastated everything along its path. It seems to have no interest in the civilians of Station Square. It walked around almost like it was searching for something until it let out a deathly cry. It 
Imagine the breath, man. Imagine the breath. Look at all that. He's got like one, two, three, four, four sets of teeth there. And they're all white, by the way. I don't know who Sonic's dentist is, but that looks fantastic. What's going on? Are these people flying out of his mouth? Oh, his tails just grabbed the cameraman. Oh, it's the emerald. Ugh. I love the, the sounds of the, um, was it, was it the Sonic.exe? Da, 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 da. After it obtained the emerald, it disappeared in the blink of an eye. A former associate of GUN, Knuckles the Echidna, brought an interesting course of action to our attention. At one point in time, the Super Emeralds were an immense peak in power. Nicole suggests that while GUN focuses on preventing Sonic from acquiring more Emeralds, he will return to the time of the Super Emeralds. Wait, what? He plans to bring them back to use on Sonic. What, what do you mean, going to the past? With the death of Dr. Ivo Robotnik and no other means of stopping such a threat, this seems to be the best option we have. Is he, is he suggesting going back, back in time? The numbers of missing persons has long shot over the thousands. Just go back in time and kill Sonic before he... Hang on a second. Let me just make sure that that's... At one point in time, the Super Emeralds were at immense peak in power. So he's planning to go back in time. Just go back in time and shoot Sonic in the head when he's a little baby. I know that's kind of morbid. But hey, it's the greater good. The number of missing persons has long shot over the thousands. This isn't including the almost uncountable amount of casualties caused by it simply moving from one place to another. My goodness, man. There have already been reports of Tails kidnappings in other countries. Tails kidnappings? Many parts of the US have declared martial law. We fear that what... We fear what it can do with the power of those emeralds. Bro, it's already moving at lightning speeds and it's humongous. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know. May God help us all. Is he eating like Sukuno's fingers? Past. Oh, he's going to the past. Just, okay, if it's that, just go back to the past and kill Sonic. Okay, or unless that, that will create a different timeline, right? It won't affect this one. This one will still have Sonic. So was that um, start clip the what happens after this, I'm guessing? GUN report 1262-3. Abandoned by Disney fan footage. Is that by Evan Evanimus as well? Evanim Evanim <sighs> shut up. All right, just shut up. I'm tired of it. That was freaking cool, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. So Knuckles has gone back in time to get Super Emeralds, basically, rather than just go back in time and shoot Sonic in the head. But why he's going to take those super emeralds. But isn't this like the whole of end game? Like you can't just take, you've got to replace them when they were taken. I don't know. This feels like an end game kind of um, story on the go here. Well, there we go, guys. That was Evanimous with the uh, newest rendition or newest episode, sorry, of the Sonic tapes. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to go check out the creator. Go like the video for yourself. Go subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that, that is the end of today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Like I said, be sure to check out all creators in the description down below with the video accompanying them. Go like them, go show your support. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like rating, subscribe. This is the majority of my content, analog horror, spooky game here and there. But yes, thank you for the support as always, guys. It means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.